Hello friends, my name is Rajkumar Thenma. Today I will discuss about the for loop in Simulink. In my MATLAB module, I have discussed about the implementation of for loop, but today I will discuss about the uh, implementation of for loop in Simulink. For the implementation in Simulink, we have the two method. In the first method, you can use the MATLAB function uh, or simple MATLAB user defined function block. So by using this function block, you can perform the task which you are required. I have discussed about this block in my previous Simulink lectures also. And the other method is uh, use the Simulink for iterator block. So this is the uh, Simulink block for the for loop. So uh, we have the two methods. Uh, the first method is simple for the implementation. If you have the MATLAB code, you can utilize that code directly and uh, you can perform the task. In this case, you have to implement uh, uh, the for loop entirely inside the symlink by using the different blocks. So if we talk about the complexity of the implementation, definitely method two is little complex as compared to the uh, method one, because in the method one, uh, you have the directly code of the MATLAB and you can utilize that. But the method one has their limitation. If we talk about the code generation, or uh, if you want to utilize this model for the code generation, in that case, uh, this particular block limits, okay? In that case, this block is suitable. So whenever you are designing a model, uh, which you want to uh, upload on a target processor or some target, in that case, uh, you should use this uh, for a data block instead of this one, right? So today uh, I will implement both the models uh, for a problem that includes the calculation of factorial. So uh, we will calculate the factorial of a number that will be provided by the user. Uh, here uh, it is shown as 5. So the output should be the factorial of 5, that is 120, right? You can take uh, some different number also. So we are going to implement these two methods in the symlink. So let's see how we can implement these two methods. So open the symlink, open the blank model. So first of all, we are going to implement the method 1. So for that we required user defined functions. Uh, so we have the MATLAB function, right? And for the input we required one constant block. So you can use the constant block. You can provide the value five. I want to calculate the factorial five, right? And I required one display. So you can connect the display. Okay, now you have to write the program for the calculation of factorial. So I think uh, you have the idea of the uh, MATLAB program, uh, what is the code for the factorial. Or you can watch my MATLAB video for that also. That link is available in the description. In MATLAB function block, uh, everything is required in the form of function. So you have to write uh, your uh, logic in the form of function. Okay, so suppose uh, I am providing the input as capital N and I want to take the output variable as the fact, right? So you have to initialize the fact is equal to one and you have to use the for loop for one to n, right? And uh, you can say fact is equal to fact into uh, the iteration number, right? So this is the simple concept by which you can implement this and delete this one and use last end to close this function. So this is the simple program for the calculation of a factorial. Okay, just save the function. So this is the model underscore fact, right? So you can open the model. So now we have the input as the n and output variable as the fact. Okay, you can run the program. So it is saying some invalid expression, missing multiplication operation. So let's see what is happening. Oh, uh, I have not written uh, for properly because I have to write the value i is equal to 1 to n, right? So I have not written the for loop properly. So <laughs> this was the error. No problem. So just open the model, run again. So we are getting the output. Okay. Now I want to go much deeper inside what is uh, happening or what is the output exactly you are getting. Uh, whether you are getting only 120 or something else or 120 uh, you are getting how many times, right? So for that I can use one block that is uh, two work space. So I am taking the output of this function to the work space, right? 
and I run this program again now you have one simulation output so this is the simulation sim out and here you can check you are getting the 120 multiple times right suppose uh, you are applying this output to some other system and that system required only a single value but here you are getting multiple values so why these uh, multiple values are appearing you can check here it is starting from 0 and going up to the 10 uh, or it is increasing some steps right so this is happening because we have taken the simulation time 10 right so just go to the modeling and go to the model setting here you have to set the simulation time so you can set it as 1 and 1 because you require to calculate this factorial at only one point okay when you have multiple points or multiple simulation times it calculate the factorial or whatever the function it is calculating for each value of time step okay so previously it has some variable steps so it got multiple step size now you can run the model again check the output simulation output and here you can check now you are getting only one value right now if you pass this value to some other block then there is no problem because you are getting one value okay so uh, the idea band using this block was just to show you the uh, output which is calculating at each time step right so this is the method one now I uh, talk about the method two in the method two you can use the for iterator block that is available inside the port subsystems so here we have the for iterator subsystem right uh, we are using the same input and output blocks so control then copy right so create one copy of this one and take one copy of this display also right after this okay so we have the value of 5 okay now this 5 is available here okay this is the for iterator block now you can customize this so here uh, it has the iteration limit source so uh, you either you can put the internal or you can put as the external okay so if you want to um, provide the facility the you just uh, should have uh, some external port by which uh, the input can be provided or the iteration number can be provided then you can use the external okay so when I apply the external you can check here one port will be appeared input port okay so it is appeared here and apart from that uh, you can uh, use the index mode also whether one based or zero based okay uh, MATLAB supports only uh, one based but in the symbolink you can use the zero based also so what is the one based and zero based you can check here uh, in this case it is showing the uh, iteration as 1 to n but if I choose it as zero based now it will start from zero it is zero to n minus one right so total n number of iterations whether these are starting from zero or one so it will decide that okay so we are considering only one based so 1 to n okay now put this here so you are getting the 5 from here so this loop is initializes it will run from 1 to 5 okay and this is the output so we are getting the here output for the first iteration we will get the value 1 for the second iteration we will get value 2 uh, and uh, up to n now you can use one product term because we required product with the previous value so you can take the iteration number here okay and by storing that iteration you can multiply it with the same value so for that we can use one delay right so delay you can just make the value one right okay uh, after that you have to flip this so you can flip lock okay 
So what is happening here? You are getting the value of i from here. So uh, starting i will be 1. So 1. Okay. And uh, this 1 is coming from here. So 1 into 1, 1. For the next iteration, you will have the 1 into 2. That will be 2. For the next iteration, 2 into 3. Okay. And for the next iteration, uh, 6 into 4. For the next iteration, 24 into 5. In this way, you will get the 120. Right. So this is the uh, logic for the implementation of factorial in Simlink, right? Now, you can run the model. Oh, we are getting some error. So this is the error about the data type mismatch. So we can check what is the data type mismatch. So you can check here, it's a double int32 s fix 64 so uh, here uh, you can check here uh, you are getting the same data type and the output of this product block is something different so we are required to change the output of this particular block so you can go to the signal attributes and change the output type that is int32 okay okay just go to the upside and run the model okay now there is no error but we are not getting the output so what is the problem everything's okay but we are not getting the output the problem is with the delay actually we have taken the value of delay as zero if you multiply something with zero whatever the iterations you run the result will be zero okay so uh, whenever you are using the delay in that case you have to use the initial condition very carefully. So in this case, we require the initial condition as one, right? So apply, okay. And you can run this. Now we are getting the output 120. I think uh, you understand the implementation of for loop in the simulink uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this lecture if you have enjoyed this lecture please like this lecture and share with your friends thank you